Is the Yellowstone supervolcano about to erupt? Experts have the answer. A recent update on the United States Geological Survey USGS website offers new insight into the timing of a potential eruption of the Yellowstone supervolcano, one of the world's largest active volcanoes. Written by Mark Stelton, deputy scientist in charge of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, the post analyzes the volcano's eruptive history and recent activity to suggest that the sleeping giant should, thankfully, stay asleep for a while longer. As Stelton explains, for a currently dormant volcano, we typically do not estimate the date of an eruption in the future, but rather the probability of an eruption occurring over a given period of time. To determine this probability, geologists study the volcanic eruption history by observing the frequency and pattern of past eruptions. As an analogy, let's say you live near a baseball field, and you want to get an idea of when a baseball is likely to be hit into your yard. One way to estimate this is to calculate the average recurrence rate by dividing the number of baseballs in your yard by the length of the observation period, say, one year, to get the number of baseballs in your yard per year. This average recurrence rate can then be converted into the probability of a baseball being hit into your yard in the next day, week, or month. Similarly, forecasting volcanic eruptions requires knowledge of the number of eruptions that have occurred over time. Applying this approach to Yellowstone, Stelton notes that the volcano has not erupted in 70,000 years, but has been active with rhyolite lava flows every 20,000 years on average between 160,000 and 70,000 years ago. Does this mean we are in a volcanic off-season? Or does this mean we are due to have an eruption, which, by the way, has never actually happened? Stelton asks. The reality is that we can't be certain based on statistical forecasting methods alone. Instead, we must combine these types of forecasts with direct monitoring of the volcano to assess the condition of the volcanic system. Currently, the annual probability of a volcanic eruption at Yellowstone is estimated at about 0.0001%, which Stelton says is probably an overestimate in the short term. There are no signs of an eruption because the magmatic system beneath Yellowstone is mostly solid. But someday, perhaps thousands or tens of thousands of years from now, the volcanic off-season at Yellowstone may end, and volcanologists will be watching for signs of a baseball, Stelton says. If Yellowstone erupts, the impacts will ripple across the globe. Regionally, ash will fall from the sky, and the global climate will be affected for years, perhaps decades, according to the USGS. Surrounding states, including Montana, Idaho, and Wyoming, will face pyroclastic flows, a highly dense and dangerous mix of hot lava blocks, pumice, ash, and volcanic gases. Humans won't be wiped out, but extreme weather and other impacts could make for a tough few years for our planet.